it's been quite some time since we've taken a trip to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Bo is here. Good to see you, Bo. You need to get a Santa Claus hat, man, because I don't know if you noticed, but Christmas is here. All the decorations are out. I, I know you have the Christmas spirit. I know you do. Good to see you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the world of Micah. Today, we're going to be here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. You guys are going to get to tag along. It's going to be a ton of fun. Let's spend the day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and let's check out some of the Christmas decorations and see some of the things they have to offer for the holiday season. This is one of my favorite Disney parks, especially around the holiday season, and I'm excited to bring you guys along with me. So let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. You know what, first thing I'm gonna do is the Hollywood Tower Hotel. It's been quite some time since I've ridden this ride. Oh! oh yeah, the holidays have definitely started here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. I love all the classic Christmas decorations and ornaments and garland and Christmas trees and everything here. This is gonna be fun. I just noticed this. They have a Northern Lights drink with a Elsa Glow Clip. See the Elsa Glow Clip there? It's blue raspberry frozen slushy with cotton candy. Then they have Olaf's Snow Flurry, vanilla orange frozen slushy with whipped cream served with Olaf's little glow clip there. Those are cool. I like the Elsa one. They put cotton candy, like blue cotton candy on the top of it. And this is the new Disney's Hollywood Studios sign. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Kind of blows my mind because it's just a font change and a logo change, but this is now the third time this has changed. Yeah, I'm totally digging that new sign. It looks like it's always been here. And the paint job and everything, it really does fit in well. But I think it's time for lunch here at the Hollywood Brown Derby. I should look at the menu, but I I think there's nothing bad here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go on in. And if you're curious, there's a little placard here that says this building was inspired by the Vine Street Brown Derby originally built in Hollywood, California. And I believe that's it. That's the building that this one was inspired. It was a gathering place of movie industry's brightest stars and it opened on Valentine's Day. 1929 and this is what it looked like on the inside you can see all the celebrities sitting around and eating and all across the walls they had these sketches of different celebrities and they continue that tradition here and they even have a classy Christmas tree here inside the Brown Derby as they should Hollywood celebrates Christmas right take a look at this lamp it's the Brown Derby hat and I am seated and I'm joined by a friend, Dennis. Hello, everybody. What's up, Dennis? This is rad. My first time here, so I'm excited to eat here. I'm getting the cop salad and the Shirley Temple. So yes. What do you get when you go to the Brown Derby? This is really your first time? First time. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. A lot of firsts today. Yeah, yeah, lots. Got some bread, some rolls, and we both got Shirley Temples because went at the Brown Derby. You gotta get Shirley Temples. Yeah. And then what did she say this was? Uh, red wine sea salt yeah, exactly. on the butter so we got our own own I guess, butter I guess you put this on the bread yeah or you can just eat it with a spoon speaking of spoons look at this spoon it's gigantic <laughs> and I'm even more stoked because she brought me a glow cube I love glow cubes and the cob salad has arrived so good and I opted to get chicken on top this is the first time I've ever gotten chicken and Dennis got his completely tossed it looks completely different than mine but you like it, yeah? Really good, really good. It's his first time having a Cobb salad, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's so awesome. I'm glad I got to share this experience. And we're ending the wonderful dinner with this, the grapefruit derby cake. I'm not sure exactly what it is. What I'm looking at is like maybe a white cake with grapefruit, some kind of grapefruit glaze. But that looks like gold on top. Maybe it's just the lighting in here. But it looks like some kind of gold something on top. I don't know. This will be a first for me. Well, lunch was absolutely delicious, but I think there's gonna be more things to see and do here in Hollywood land. We stopped in here to look at the Skyliner merchandise and they have this brand new Funko Pop Skyliner. And you can look right here, it's Mickey. 
riding the Skyliner, and I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go hop on the Skyliner real quick. Oh yeah, it's time to hop aboard the Skyliner. This is gonna be awesome. And I think this is the first time I've ever shown the Skyliner on my channel. This is awesome, I wonder which color or which wrapping we're gonna get, because they all have different characters and different colors on them, see? where they have three different locations you can do. The Riviera Resort in Epcot, Hollywood Studios, which we just got off, Disney's Art of Animation, and Disney's Pop Century Resort. We're gonna hop on and go over to the Riviera in Epcot. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, home to a collection of tropical villages inspired by the colorful architecture and lifestyle of the Caribbean islands. <laughs> studios to enjoy the rest of the day but I'm glad we got to do the Skyliner I'm glad I got to show you guys what the Skyliner looks like this takeoff is probably my favorite part because it just takes off like like this right here Whee! <laughs> it's so awesome and yes these vents are definitely working. It's a little chilly in here. I just realized it's my first time seeing the dancing mini ornaments with the legs this year. That's so awesome. I actually got the ornament last year for Abby. And when you pull the string, it makes the legs move. And there's one tradition I really love here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. They put these old school Christmas decorations up all throughout the different streets, areas. Hollywood Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard. And I just, I love them. Chip and Dale are dressed up for the holidays too. Check them out. All right, let's check out Galaxy's Edge and see what's going on for the holidays. I don't think they're gonna be dressing it up for the holidays, but still it'd be fun to see the crowd levels for the holidays. Oh, hey, it's Chewy. There he is. Way over there. X-Wing is just hanging out. Sometimes you'll see Ray over here. I haven't seen anybody except for Chewie. But that doesn't mean anything. We might see, oh, hey, there's Chewie back over here again. He's right over there, you see him? Mingling with the folk. This dude is literally following us around. This is awesome. Chewie is literally playing right now. I might come to work. Did you say they're not the droid you're looking for? I see stormtroopers. They're hiding out. And I believe 
she's hiding from the stormtroopers too. She seems to be getting away safely. Do you guys see the stormtroopers? They're hanging out right up here. I wonder if Kylo Ren gets anything for Christmas. Out of the Supreme Leader's way! What do you guys think? Jar Jar Binks. Looks like we found a resistance spy. You'll need to come with us. Oh no, they caught her. They got her. Oh no. Oh no. Did you guys know that there's a miniature Millennium Falcon on the Millennium Falcon? Well, I'm about to show you guys exactly where it is. Take a look right under here. It's actually upside down, but there it is. The miniature version or miniature model of the Millennium Falcon. It's pretty cool, yeah? It's a Millennium Falcon on a Millennium Falcon. Only a 50 minute wait if you want to ride Smuggler's Run. Well, you guys, the sun is turning to set and I think it's time for us to head out. But it was a fun adventure, but I think the adventure has come to an end. Which means it's time to say goodbye. But if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a big thumbs up. I had a ton of fun hanging out here today at Disney's Hollywood Studios, having lunch at the Brown Derby, riding a few attractions, and seeing some of the Christmas decorations they have to offer. If you guys are going to be visiting for the holiday season, definitely put Hollywood Studios on your radar and on your things to do because it's a lot of fun. If you guys would like to support my channel, please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash world of Mike. And we're donating $1 a month can help fund episodes just like this. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Mike, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.